Hi, this is Aaron Stoneweed. In this episode, I'd like to share some of my understanding of how capacitors work. At least one of them is found in every guitar to make tone control possible. Basically, a capacitor is just two parallel metal plates with a little distance between them. If a potential is applied to one of the plates, a charge will build up and an equal but opposite charge will build up in the adjacent plate. The building up of the charges will take some time, depending on the value of the capacitor. As long as it has not reached its maximum capacity, a current will flow from one side to the other. Once the maximum capacity is reached, the current stops flowing unless the polarity is reversed. And this is why capacitors have higher resistance to low frequencies and lower resistance to high frequencies. This is also why capacitors block dual currents and potentials, while they act as frequency dependent resistors to alternating currents and potential differences. Now on to a graphic representation of some common capacitors that can be found in guitar land. The horizontal axis represents uh, the frequency and the vertical axis represents the resistance or the capacitive reactance as it's called. A 47 nanofarad capacitor, which is common in Gibson guitars, would look like this. A 22 nanofarad capacitor, which is more common in Fender guitars, has an overall somewhat higher reactance over the complete audio range a 1 nanofarad capacitor, which might well be found in a treble bleed volume control, has a much higher reactance overall. Capacitors can be used as high pass or low pass filters, depending on whether they're connected in series or in parallel. In a tone control, they're in parallel. In a treble bleed, they're connected in series. It's actually quite easy to calculate the reactance of a capacitor. The formula is 1 over 2 pi times the frequency times the capacitance. XC stands for the reactance in ohms. Pi is a constant. It's the times the diameter of a circle fits around the circumference of a circle. F is the frequency in Hertz. And C is the capacitance in Farads. Before we finish a little bit about nomenclature. One farad equals a thousand millifarad, ten to the third, and it equals a million microfarads, ten to the sixth. It equals a billion nanofarads, ten to the ninth, and it equals a trillion picofarads, 10 to the 12th. 
So let's get back to the tone control schematic from my first video. Remember how the capacitor functions as a drain for high frequencies. If it's turned down, high frequencies drain to ground. If it's turned up, all frequencies can go to the output. The bigger the capacitor, the more dramatic its effect will be. The potentiometer is just a tap that controls the overall effect of the capacitor. In the next video I would like to explain impedance, the combination of resistance and reactance in a coil, and explain the workings of a tone control and the influence of a guitar cable in terms of resonance frequency. Hoping again this was useful, I say thank you.